All right, so before we get started actually seeing how to install and use Storybook, let's talk a little bit about the main benefits of Storybook, right? Why would we want to use Storybook in the first place? Well, the first reason, right, and this is really the main advantage of Storybook, is that it allows us to develop our components in isolation. All right, so to illustrate what I mean by this, I'll just say develop components in isolation. And to illustrate what I mean by this, let's imagine the normal way that we would go about developing some kind of component in an application, right? In an existing application. Chances are what you would do is you would create the file for that component, right? You would write some code inside of it, and then you would see what it actually looked like by just inserting it into wherever it's supposed to go in, you know, its parent component. Now the problem with this, right? The problem with this approach is that it causes us to develop our components for the specific place that they're first used. So this component, right? It might be something really reusable that we want to, uh, you know, that we want to be able to use in multiple different situations. It might be something like a reusable form or something like that. But by developing it inside an existing component, the existing styles, the existing logic, the existing everything from this parent component is going to be reflected inside this form component as we develop it. So on one hand, it's really more of a psychological thing, right? It forces us to develop our components in isolation, and as a result, the components that we create are going to end up being more reusable, right? We're going to develop them to work well in isolation so that we'll be able to put them in multiple different components instead of just developing them for one specific component. All right, so on the other hand, this sort of development really helps us from a collaboration perspective. I can't tell you how many times I've been on a team or worked with a code base where there's two or three different reusable components all called, you know, form or modal or something like that because each of those were developed for a specific use case and also because a lot of times developers don't actually know that those things exist. Now, as we're going to see, when we use Storybook, as we add what are called stories for a given component, basically these are just isolated examples of what a component's going to look like. When we create stories for a given component, we're going to have a list of the components that exist in our application, as well as the different use cases for those kinds of components, all, you know, listed under each component's name. You'll see what this looks like shortly. So anyway, that's the main benefit of working with Storybook is that it allows us to develop our components for our application in isolation, which both increases the reusability of our components and also makes it a lot easier to collaborate to, you know, come up with a nice solid theme and set of basic components for our application. All right, so some other advantages of Storybook are that it's a good first line of QA, all right? Good first line of QA. And what I mean by that is normally, at least in my experience, the QA team at whatever company you're working at doesn't actually get to see the components that you've built and make sure that they line up with the designs from the design team, make sure they match up with all the specified logic, etc., until it's published to development, right? Because generally when we're just building a component inside an existing application, no one else can actually see that until we actually publish this to the cloud and people can then visit that on their computer, right? That's a computer, by the way. So Storybook gives us a way to really make sure that we have our components designed correctly and working correctly because you can actually publish a Storybook once you've created it so that other people can build it. And this would be long before you ever publish your changes to the development site or the QA site. Okay, and that's just talking about QA as in, you know, the QA team working at a company. Another meaning of a good first line of QA is that it allows you yourself to make sure your components look good. And I'm sure the QA team would appreciate it if you took a look at your components before actually publishing them to the development or QA site. But anyway, so that's another primary advantage of using Storybook. 
Another advantage is that it can really be used with any kind of framework or library. So while we're going to be using it with React here, it can also be used just as well with Angular or Vue or Svelte or even vanilla JavaScript. So we'll say can be used with any library. All right, now obviously the actual interface when we're building a storybook is going to be a little different depending on which library or framework you're using, right? If you're using React or Angular or Vue, but the overall concepts that we're gonna talk about here are gonna be the same. And one last thing that we'll talk about is that storybook is dev only. So in other words, it doesn't add any kind of overhead to our application when we actually build and publish our application. So, so in other words, it's just a very helpful development tool that doesn't actually add anything to the final bundle size of our application. So those are the main benefits of using Storybook. We're gonna get more experience with these benefits, obviously, as we build out an application with Storybook. So I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.